Hey, I got the uh, card for number 0923. Uh, um, you also wrote your name, but man, I just wanted to go ahead and give you this video to give you some encouragement, um, to give you something um, that hopefully, hopefully fuels you and just encourages you. I mean, I just want to say first off, thanks so much um, for writing down what you did and writing on your card. Um, and know that like, because you did write your name, man, myself, Hunter, and Brian will, uh, will be reaching out to you soon. Um, maybe we can get lunch or, or get dinner or something. We'll treat you um, uh, to whatever and just have a conversation with you. But I um, uh, want to say first off, man, just again, like I said, thanks so much for writing down that you struggle with depression. And um, man, that is something that um, I've struggled with uh, in the past when, when a certain situation came up in my life when you just feel super down and super low. And I want you to first off hear that, man, I've been there. I've been where you're at. Um, and I just want to encourage you um, that this is the time where instead of running from the Lord, this is when you need to run to the Lord. Um, and I want to encourage you to do that, to look in Scripture, to find uh, what God says about whatever situation that you're in that is causing this depression and causing um, this sense of lowness um, and, and really a low sense of worth. I want you to know that, man, that the God of the universe created you he loves you and He cares for you. And adversity comes and knocks on every single person's door in their life, whether um, they like it or not. You know, there are, are things where people can have their lives perfectly set up, but um, cancer still comes, or the death of a parent still comes in a car wreck, or something happens. And man, I just want to encourage you that um, it's not God just being mean and cruel to his children. No, he loves and cares for his children. Uh, but this is a result of sin. We are broken, broken people. Every single person on the planet. There is no one that is perfect. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And this is just an effect of that. That man, that we are in a, a broken, sinful world. Um, where people fail each other. Um, where we don't get it right every time, where there are sinful things happening, and um, it can feel a lot like it's a really crummy place to be. But um, this is why God sent His Son Jesus to save us, because we can't save ourselves, and um, this is something that separates us from God. And then when you realize and recognize that God has a wrath to be poured out over sin and over um, things that... Uh, are unholy and unrighteous and unpure, um, then you realize what Jesus took for us. And out of that, when you realize the sinner that you are, that I am, um, it, it helps you to see how holy and how great and how awesome God is and what Jesus took for us, that Jesus took our place um, for the punishment that we deserve. My favorite verse is Isaiah 53, 5. It says, For he was pierced for our transgressions, for he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. That there is punishment on Jesus that ultimately can bring us peace. Um, that he has wounds and marks and scars and was beat up. Um, but by him taking that, we can be healed. That our wounds and our scars and our uncleanliness can be healed and cured. Um, and I just want to encourage you in that. I hope that verse encourages you as it has me. Um, but no, I want to also tell you, man, that, that this might be something that you need help with. Um, this is something that you can't do on your own. That you can't just like fix and try harder and do better. But this is something that you're going to need to rely on godly men in your life to encourage you in this. That maybe you need to even seek like a professional counselor or someone that you can just talk to. Maybe that's a parent. Maybe that's me. Or maybe that's Hunter or Brian. Um, maybe that's a friend at school, um, but want to just encourage you to not sit in your depression and sulk because um, that is a long way out of that. And when we're alone and when we feel alone, this is when um, the enemy can keep attacking. And you need, uh, God has given you a gift of community and you need brothers and, uh, and sisters uh, uh, in Christ in your life to uphold you and uplift you and encourage you. And so I hope this video is the start of that. But again, I know you wrote your name. And so, man, I'm looking forward to, to reaching out to you. You'll get um, be contacted by me or Brian or Hunter soon. Um, but, man, I hope this uh, is encouraging for you for the time you're in right now. And know that if you ever need anything, man, we'd love to talk to you. 
um, grab us on Wednesday night or Sundays, and man, we'd love to uh, to hang and um, and walk with you through this. So, um, but look forward to talking with you more, and uh, know that the, the God of the universe loves you, and so do we. Thanks, man.